First deputy charged in the fatal shooting of a suspect is heading to the Bahamas. The judge gave him the go ahead after he entered a not guilty plea for second degree manslaughter. Two works for you, investigator Marla Carter is live at the sheriff's office downtown. Marla. Karen Bates made the plea this morning and then hours later, protesters converged on the sheriff's office. Cameras surround Bates after he entered his plea. Thrust in a spotlight he wishes would burn out. I know a lot of people were critical about him uh, making a statement on TV last Friday. We felt it was necessary because of the, the incredible pressure about who he was. So much pressure, he's going on vacation. The judge granted his request for a month-long vacation in the Bahamas. Eric Harris gets a grave and he gets a vacation. We can take our streets back. Mark Lewis is the organizer of a petition to get the two deputies in this video fired. Bates killed Harris in an undercover sting. Two Works For You is refraining from using the other deputies' names because they've received death threats. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? It? Today, Lewis and others took their message from the courthouse to the sheriff's office, marching with the message and delivering the petition with 1,000 plus signatures. They got to give it to the undersheriff in person. Thank God we live in a country that you guys can come to the police department Amen. and protest and, and do this. Absolutely. And thank you all for being peaceful. Job. Again, that person you just heard from was Tim Albin, the undersheriff for the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office. Now, Mr. Bates is due in court again in July. As for the Harris family, they did respond to Mr. Bates' plea, and they also respond to his planned vacation. You can see that statement on our website, kdrh.com. Live in downtown Tulsa, Marla Carter, two works for you. Thank you, Marla. Our coverage of the reserve deputy shooting continues online. You can find the latest information 24 hours a day on kdrh.com.